Okay, so this little tutorial is going to be how to add these extra photos in the, the Car Demon plugin in a WordPress content management system. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Cars for Sale here. And I have my uh, photographs that I'm going to be using up here on another screen, just like this. The next one I'm going to do is this 2001 Saturn Gray. I have an extra picture to put in that 2001 Saturn Gray uh, that uh, uh, the client sent me. And so let me look for the 2001 uh, Saturn Gray. There we go. Gray interior, rather. And we see that the picture is not here. So I'm already logged into my WordPress. If you haven't logged in, you want to be logged in. And I'm just going to click Edit Post there, okay? Just like that. Now in the description, I'm going to come down here to the last sentence. I'm going to hit Enter, just like that. So uh, Enter on my keyboard a couple times. So I have my cursor blinking below the description. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click this Add Media. I'm going to drag in over that 2000 Saturn 1 gray, just like that. Now for search engine optimization, I'm going to make sure that it has a title tag and alternate text. So we have 2001 Saturn gray interior. I'm going to click copy, paste the alternate text, and click insert into post, okay? So let me click insert into post here. Now you'll notice that it doesn't come up in the description like it usually does in WordPress, but it comes up over here under the photo ribbon. So what you'll do is you'll click update just like that. And then when you go to view the post, you will see, voila, there it is. There's our second picture. So we have that picture and that picture. And then you would add other pictures accordingly. You know, this is called your photo ribbon. And that's how you, that's how you add pictures, uh, extra pictures in this uh, Car Demon plugin. Now, of course, if you want to, you know, add more information to the this, you know, to the vehicle, you would come down here, and you know, click specs, safety, uh, convenience, comfort, and so on and so forth. Now, the other thing that you were you were asking me about, and um, you know, f making the uh, making it easy so people could just click on the um, a little button here. Uh, to to see the the car history, one of the things uh, that I want to bring out to you here is that that is going to take a little bit of work, but there's an easier way to do it, and let me show you how. So uh, we have this little uh, this little link that we want to put in the side, you know, of these posts, and this this here's a sidebar and it's dynamic. And how you access that is you go to Appearance, Widgets, and so let me show you what's going on here. Uh, here's the Vehicle Detail Sidebar, okay? So that's that's what we want. Now we're going to take out these other ones because we just don't need them. Recent post or recent comments, not just yet because nobody, uh, nobody has commented on the site because it's relatively new. Okay, so let's take out this. I'll leave the meta in there because what the meta is is that's this information right here so you can log in and log out easier. I'll just leave that in so to, to help you so that you, you can log in. So <clears throat> um, here's all these nice little widgets that the car demon has you know given us that we could take advantage of. But the one that we want is this little text widget right now. And we're going to put that in there. And right now I'm just going to paste that link that you gave me and I'm going to click save. And you know that will give just a URL in there. But I'm going to make it dynamic. I'm going to make it a, a link that they could click. And you'll see it appear here in just a minute. Let me refresh. Uh, here it is down here. So it moved it to the bottom because it was a long URL. So I'm going to fix this so this is clickable and then maybe we'll put an iframe in there so they can embed because if you click that link you actually go to a, a page that looks like oh let me see here. Let me see if I can get it up again. Get to a page that looks something like this, so you can search for the VIN number. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in uh, this this uh, little as a little widget here, and I'll be right back.
Okay, so what I ended up doing with the URL that you gave me is right here. Now, uh, if you go to the website now, it says here, check vehicle history. Now, you can move that to the top if you wish, just by, um, you know, going here and just moving that to the top. And then you'll notice if we refresh, you know, we could check vehicle history. And what that does, since they didn't give you an API where you can just, like, embed this little thing that we go to here, if if we, we come here and we, you know, we... Uh, search this is the URL you gave me it looks like it's already searching for a uh, a VIN number you know on a Toyota Corolla so we, we need a better URL that takes the people here I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it has something to do with your your little code number but uh, um, let me see here I'm gonna try to click it yeah that's so you're, you're gonna have to get your affiliate um, URL so that whenever they go to check the VIN number information by by clicking here, it's not coming up with with you know this VIN number because it's going to kind of confuse people. Here we are on a uh, um, let's see, we're we're on a uh, a Saturn and and this little link is bringing us information up for a uh, Corolla. So there's there's a special little link in here with an ID number that you're going to need to get from these people. Uh, I imagine it's something you know having to do with this here. Uh, let me try to copy this little information because this might be your affiliate uh, network ID number. Uh, let me see if this will still bring something up for you. Okay, so you can check the VIN number by clicking there. So let me let me let me edit this little URL. I'm going to take this out because this is actually what's bringing up the. Uh, the Cor Toyota Corolla, but it would be better if they give us something that we can embed in here, like an iframe or something, so that whenever people are, you know, coming here, they could just enter the VIN number, or you know, we could take this VIN number or whatever and embed it in over there, or you know, give them some instructions. But right now, the way it is, they have to take the, you know, the vehicle number, and. Um, you know, copy it and paste it and look up the VIN number. So um, that's what's going on here. In order, for, you know, in order to make this work, we'd have to do some programming. But you want to make sure that you're getting the correct affiliate, uh, you know, link so that you get credit for it. Okay, thanks, Jerry. Bye.